This one? Okay. The purpose of our study was to evaluate the anatomical functional results of the treatment of macular detachment associated with optic dispit with a temporal inverted ILM flap. Seven eyes of seven patients were included in this study. The technique, I'm going to show it in the video. The ILM flap was peeled until the temporal edge and inverted to trans, uh, uh, transplanted to cover the optic disc bit totally. We used differently here a heavy silicone oil called Denseron Extra. I'm not going over Denseron Extra properties. It is FDA approved because of time. It's, it's very easy to inject. And also, I want to mention about the results. I want to spend more time on the video. The complete retinal attachment was achieved in all seven eyes. The resolution of the suprarenal fluid was very rapid. Interestingly, suprarenal fluid was completely re reabsorbed in all six eyes at post-op day one and in one eye post-op day two. Two lines or more improvement in visual acuity was obtained in all seven eyes, and in four of these eyes had 24 or better visual acuity at the final visit. There was no post-operative complications. This is a patient with bilateral optic dispits with macular detachment. Here you see the pre-op and post-op day one with heavy silicone oil. At post-op day one, the, the macular detachment is totally flat. There's no suprarenal fluid in the OCT as you see here. The right eye, and here you see the inverted ILM flap covering the optic disc, closing the optic pit. Here's the same patient's left eye four days later. Again, post-op day one, the macula is totally flat and the suprarenal fluid is absorbed. Here you see the uh, island flap covering the optic disc bit. Here's the video of the patient. The left corner is the left eye. This is the right eye. We're using Brilliant Blue stained ILM peeling. I did the whole uh, peeling with the Tano Diamond Dusted Scraper. You should always touch the ILM, not the retina. You can harm the nerve fiber layers with a diamond dust tip. So this is a little bit fast forward. We try not to uh, make any uh, breaks in the ILM. We try to make it in one piece. And the left corner, you see the left eye, which we operated four days later. The difference of this technique besides the other ones, I used at the end heavy silicone oil. <clears throat> the only difficulty of this operation is to have this ILM flap in one piece, so it covers the optic disc totally. I didn't stuff it into the optic disc. So as you see here, the whole optic disc is covered with the ILM. I inject approximately one cc of liquid parfluorocarbon to keep the island flap in place. Then I did the air fluid exchange. After air fluid exchange, I injected Densron Extra. It's a heavy silicone oil. <coughs> it can be injected through a 25 or 27 gauge needle. It's a different heavy silicone oil. Here is a parfluorocarbon liquid. And you see the whole island flap is totally covering the optic disc pit totally covering the optic, optic disc. And after air fluid exchange, I removed the perfluorocarbon liquid. And you, you, here you see the injection of heavy silicone oil. In conclusion, temporal inverted island flap technique combined with heavy silicone oil denser extra for macular detachment associated with optic disc pit is a highly effective alternative technique this procedure achieved very rapid resolution of the submacular fluid with successful anatomical and functional results. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.